All right, welcome back. Tonight we're going to continue Game of Thrones. We're on episode two of season three. And let's watch the recap. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? I want to fight for the side, the fight for the living. But I need to find my brother and mother and my sister. Those were Stark, man. I don't serve the Starks. I serve Lady Catelyn. I told her I'd take you to King's Landing, and that's what I'm going to do. Joffrey tells me you stopped your carriage at Flea Bottom this morning. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. The King barely escaped with his life. My mother's always had a penchant for drama. Facts mm. become less and less important to her as she grows older. <clears throat> she didn't like that little comment. Mm-mm. <laughs> We need to get back to the wall. We know it's out there. But we have to warn them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I won't warn them. Because they ain't going to be sending them more people. Now oh, we got Winterfell burning. Or smoking. I never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Go for grief. <laughs> you dreaming again? Mm -hmm. You got older. Look like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> that third eye. Don't think too much, Bran. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you was a marksman at ten? Father. You can't kill it, you know. Why not? Because the raven is you. Were you inside the wolf again, little lord? No. Three-eyed raven. I tried to kill it, but I couldn't. There was a boy. I don't want to hear about it. I didn't ask for black magic dreams. I know you didn't, little lord. My mother always told me you and Starosi were a grim lot. Did you ever think you'd marry one? I never thought I'd marry anyone at all. Pardon me, your grace. My queen. No. Oh, they got married. I forgot yeah. they got married. <clears throat> Word from Riverrun and Winterfell. I hadn't seen him in years. We'll travel to the funeral together. Will I be wearing manacles when I lay my father to rest? Yeah. <laughs> By the time Bolton's bastard got to Winterfell, the Ironborn were gone. They massacred everyone and put the castle to the torch. And Ban and Rickon have not been found. Have you heard anything from Theon at all? Oh, I forgot he got knocked over the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot about that. Where am I? Who are you? What do you want? I want to do this. Uh, oh my god. Mm. So how should we pass the time? By putting one foot in front of the other. Oh, it's going to be a very dull walk. <laughs> like dang, man. You know, it doesn't matter how loyal a servant you are. No one enjoys the company of a humorless mute. You think Lady Stark's going to want a, a giant toe-headed plank following around for the rest of her life? <laughs> Weeks. Eight hours and day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did you come into Lady Stark's service? You weren't with her at Winterfell. How do you know? Because I visited Winterfell. I've noticed your dour head smacking into the archways. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pledged to Stannis? God, no. Ah, uh, Renly. I would have been a wonderful king. Sounds like you quite fancy him. I did not fancy him. 
God, you did. <laughs> you weren't Brenda's type, I'm afraid. You preferred uh, curly-haired little girls like Laura's Tyrell. You're far too much man for her. <laughs> far too much man for her. <laughs> it's a shame the throne isn't made out of cocks. They'd have never got him off it. <laughs> don't blame him. You don't get the juice who we love. Staying off the king's road, are you? Looks like you're safe enough, though. Meaning no offence, my lady, but <laughs> I wouldn't tangle with you. <laughs> <laughs> said no offence, my lady, but I wouldn't tangle with you. <laughs> what if you tell someone? We're not doing it. He's an innocent man. It makes you look very strong. No flowers. Hmm. It's like a Terrell rose. Give it to Marjorie for her wedding gown. Could be more than enough fabric. <laughs> she would. Give it to Marjorie for her wedding gown. Should be more than enough fabric. Mm -hmm. A little piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a good match, but what do you think of her? Mm -hmm. She's beautiful and intelligent. She's becoming one of the most boring conversations I've ever had. She married a traitor and known degenerate like Renly Baratheon for a reason. She married Renly Baratheon because she was told to. That's what intelligent women do. What they're told. Yourself, what I don't is need her? to do anything. He didn't ask you to do something for him. If he does ask you for anything, or try anything, or touch you, I want you to tell me. Why? What will you do? Kill him. Loris <laughs> Tyrell, my lady. <laughs> She had a little crush on him in season one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. She had a little crush on him in season one. Lady Sansa, my sister Marjorie invites you to take the air with her and our grandmother, the Lady Olena, in the gardens. Such a dear. Oh, uh, take my leave. Oh, Lady Sansa, it is my honor to present my grandmother, the Lady Olena of House Tyrell. It's so good of you to visit me and my foolish flock of hens. <laughs> And I was sorry when I heard of Lord Renly's death, Lady Marjorie. He knew how to dress and smile, and somehow this gave him the notion he was fit to be king. <laughs> it was treason. I warned them. He should have stayed well out of all this, if you ask me. But once the cow's been milked, there's no squirting the cream back up her udder, so here we are. <laughs> I love this woman. Are you going to bring the food, or do you mean to starve us to death? <laughs> Now, I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. I... I... You, you. <laughs> We've heard some troubling tales. Has this boy mistreated you? Joffrey, he... his grace is very fair and handsome and as brave as a lion yes all lannisters are lions mm -hmm. and when a tyrell farts it smells like a rose <laughs> <laughs> i'm just trying to get me in trouble are you frightened child mm -hmm. tell us the truth no harm will come to you my father always told the truth yes he had that reputation and they named him traitor and took his head joffrey joffrey did that he promised he would be merciful and he cut my father's head off. And he said that was mercy. And he took me up on the walls and made me look at it. Please don't make me say any more. She's terrified, Grandmother. Just look at her. Speak freely, child. We would never betray your confidence, I swear it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to trust him. He's a monster. Oh. Mm-mm. I don't trust him. Like her, she speaks freely and <laughs> boldly. <laughs> March is a distraction. My grandfather's funeral is not a distraction. Have you lost faith in our cause? If you no longer believe... I can believe till it snows in dawn. Don't change the fact. We've got half the men. You don't think we can win? Hmm. I think you lost this war. The day you married her. Hmm. May I help you, Lady Stark? No. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. You can't help. 
Because a mother makes one for her children to protect them. Only a mother can make them. Did they work? Nope. <laughs> I prayed for my son, Brand, who survived his fall. Many years before that, one of the boys came down with the pox. So I sat with him all through the darkness. Which boy? John Snow. When my husband brought that baby home from the war, I couldn't bear to look at him. So I prayed to the gods. Take him away. Make him die. Oh, not evil to you. Mm. <laughs> when I knew I was the worst woman who ever lived. Mm. Okay. Who's your now as yet? I'll just say it. <laughs> so I prayed to all seven gods. Let the boy live. And I'll love him. Mm. I'll be a mother to him. She didn't come through. <laughs> and he lived. And he lived. And I couldn't keep my promise. So good. Yeah, that's the truth. And everything that's happened since then, all this horror that's come to my family. Hmm. Makes you wonder, huh? Hmm. Makes you upset the gods. You lied to him. He'll never bargain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was it hard for you to kill the half hand? I like you, but if your plan is false, it won't be hard for me to kill you. Do you know what it takes to unite 90 clans, half of whom want to massacre the other half for one insult or another? No. I told them we were all going to die if we don't get south. Because that's the truth. Well, shouldn't be long now. What's wrong with him? He's a warg. He can enter the mind of animals, see through their eyes. But you never met a warg. Shut up, girl. Wait, you never met a warg? She's gonna want her. <laughs> Where were you this time? The fist of the first men. What did you see? Dead crows. What's the matter, piggy? You're crying because you're cold. Oh, shut up. Why don't you lie down and rest for a while, eh? He really gonna do it? Who hmm. <laughs> said what in the world? Sam, I like that man. Get up! I can't. You stop. You'll die. You don't care. You left me. When the White Walkers came, you left me. Aye, we left you. You're fat and you're slow. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> looking at him like for real. <laughs> yeah, tell him the truth. Just get him off. Why? So the rest of us can die. Boy, you better get your tail up. Get up, Charlie. I think so. If you can't, we may as well just go without. That's it. enough, Charlie. I forbid you to die. Why should the rest of us go with Russ, him? you're responsible for him. <laughs> Make sure he gets back alive. If he doesn't, you don't. <laughs> Who won? Ha <laughs> ha. That's what you eat. Bring him out to get. Oh, I'm sorry, mm -mm. piggy. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sam. You're going to have to pick up this beat. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't pity yourself. Um, don't, we don't need no self-pity. Let's go. You got walkers out there. You want pity, set pity. <laughs> we ain't jumping on your train. Let's go. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> Is that the roof? What's up? <laughs> that shit ran like that. <laughs> He about to jump down on somebody. You better stay back. That's the boy that was in his dream. Mm -hmm. Now how do you get past her? Huh? Not another step, boy. Unless you want to drown in your own blood. I'm unarmed. That was poor planning. My sister carries the weapon. Yep, uh, one well. 
drop it. Okay, we got the wolf. I'm Jojen Reed. This is my sister, Mira. We've come a long way to find you, Brandon. What are you going to find here? Would you please shut up about it? He offered to kill any three people you wanted. You could have picked King Joffrey. Shut up. Could have picked Tywin Lannister. Where are we going? North. If we were going north, we should have come to the Red Fork River by now. Maybe we already passed it. It's a hundred feet wide. How could we have passed? <laughs> Be a minstrel. Shut up. <laughs> Minstrel's got gold sometimes. We could jump him, tie him up, steal his gold, and buy some. F Dude, that's a bunch of people. You ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> What's lurking behind that wall? Loose a few more shafts. Don't. <laughs> Put the sword down, girl. Leave us be, and I won't kill you. <laughs> Why are your friends so shy? Oh? <laughs> the fat one to your left and the lad beside him. <laughs> How do they know? I probably seen one a long time ago. Oh, there's too many, y'all. Who are you? Thoros of Mir. No, who do you fight for? The Brotherhood Without Banners. Remember Thor Samir and his flaming sword from the story? Mm-hmm. That's him. Uh, okay. The Brotherhood? Mm. That's who the mountain them lot were looking for. He's got nothing to fear from us, son. Now, come on. We'll talk some more over brown bread and stew. And then you can go on your way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd think he'd be running towards uh, the brown bread and stew. Here's the thing. When I'm done talking, that arrow's falling down on your fat head. So I oh my god. Because I'm done talking. Ah. Pretty good with that bow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half the country's starving, and look at this one. <laughs> These are the reason half the country's starving. <laughs> <laughs> he said half the country's starving, look at this one. Yeah. I cannot come here. My father does not make idle threats. Well, forgive me, but his room look better now. Maybe it's the sunlight. <laughs> well, they said they're gonna, gonna get him a better room. Okay. I got him out of the, the basement or whatever. Baelish doesn't have friends. I don't know her name. Oh, Rose the redhead? She's a whore. Yes, well, we shouldn't be judgmental about these things. <laughs> <laughs> Was she good? Did you like her? Oh my god, girl, get back to the dog room. What did she say about Littlefinger? That Sansa shouldn't trust him. We have to protect her. We can't. Now that the Lannisters have discarded her, Sansa will have many suitors. A great beauty with a very old name. Oh, a great beauty? Yes, she is. Objectively, very. <laughs> you pervert. You want her? This child! I don't even want to talk about her. But you are! Only because you're making me. Yeah, I do that a lot. What? Try to turn our words against us. No. Yeah. You just don't think before you bring it out. Because you have to know the woman. Apparently she's the jealous one. Lady Tyrell, my king. Send her in. Oh, she ain't gonna go tell what to I hope not. You wanted to see me, Your Grace. How are you finding life in the capital? A military encampment is no place for a lady. And the bedside of a traitor is mm. not a place for a lady. Your Grace, I try to do my duty as a wife. That is all. This fool. Renly, I don't believe he was interested in the company of women. Maybe the fault was with me, maybe. No. <laughs> he was a known degenerate. Mm. Are you right? Say so, Your Grace. Mm. Playing him like a fiddle. <laughs> yeah. Ski. <laughs> Don't touch me. You like it? You look like he's scared of women too. Hmm. 
Probably one of the finest weapons in the Seven Kingdoms. It's beautiful. Will you show me how it works? You don't know how to take her, huh? <laughs> and... <laughs> Do you want to hold it? May I? Please. Yeah, show me how so I can kill you. <laughs> I imagine it must be so exciting to squeeze your finger here and watch something die over there. Could you do it? Could you kill something? He's a psychopath. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he a little crazy. You, the thought of you killing something, if that excites you, you're a psychopath. Who knew what you wanted? Ooh. Why'd you take Winterfell? To take the North while it was vulnerable. What were you gonna do once you took it? Hold it. Rule it. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus. I took it to bring glory to my house and my father. I mean, even though, you know, he deserved this, but... It because I hated the Starks. I hated them for holding me prisoner. I wanted to hurt them. Hmm. What are you doing? Please. Ah! My feet hurt. <laughs> Does sister send me? Yara, I'll come for you tonight when the castle sleeps. Please, please don't call me. Hey there, I got all kind of new characters coming in this side though. Mm -hmm. Caesar. You can get inside his head. Keep through his eyes. Only when I'm asleep. Once how it begins until you learn to control it. You're a wolf. It's not just wolves. Sometimes in my dreams there's a three-eyed raven. Does it have anything to do with walking? No, the raven is something different. Something deeper. The raven brings to sight. You're seeing things that haven't happened yet. Or things that happened long before you were born, or things that are happening right now, thousands of miles away. This might be a good friendship. <laughs> How did three young persons such as yourselves, untrained <laughs> in the art of war, escape from Harrenhal? Gendry's a smith. He was apprenticed in the armory. A smith, eh? Where'd you train? King's Landing. Turbo March shot. That criminal. He charges twice as much as every other armor in the city. <laughs> Gendry stole his weapons. He knows how to use a sword. And so do I. My brothers told me. <laughs> <laughs> To your brothers. Girl. <laughs> you can finish your meals before you go. You're free us? I give you my word. <laughs> See that is an uncommonly large person. How does one manage to subdue such an uncommonly large person? One waits for him to drink until he passes out. Poor man. You have my sympathy. Oh, that's the hell. Mm-hmm. So good to see you again, again. Thoris, the fuck you doing here? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> what in seven hells are you doing with this dark bitch? Oh! Like, oh! He ain't told on girl. Yeah, he recognized you. He must, like, has everybody else come tell it was her? Mm -hmm. With her haircut? He was close to him. And they're traveling up to King's Landing. Gam blood heart. Wouldn't have guessed. Be quick about it. <laughs> oh, I need to rest. Get up. Now these. This. This heals through it. There's no way. He got. I understood why some knights felt the need to carry two swords. Because <laughs> just in case one get taken away from. <laughs> oh, you move well. Great beast of a woman. You shouldn't grimace before you lunch. It gives away the game. She may not let him be her. If you kill me, you fail Lady Stark. But if you don't kill me, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> she like, I'm about to whoop your tail. <laughs> See? If you were willing to hurt me, you might have had me there. He pushed her, she really fell down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Jesus. Yeah. Who is this? Who, who are these people? Blade man of House Bolton. It's gruesome for my taste. You sure he's the one? Hmm. I saw him fight at the tourney for Sir Willem Frey's wedding. Give the man his... He said, see, I told mm -hmm. you. You need to kill. Mother will pay you whatever you want. Enough to buy me a new head. If the king in the north hears I had the king's slayer and let him go, he'd be taking it right off. I'd rather he takes yours. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, see, he antagonizing her and yeah. See so if he hadn't been fucking off on the bridge, yeah. they could have gotten over the bridge and well, get hit. Yeah, she could. She should have went on. You know, I ain't for all that balance or nothing, but I would have. No, he don't tell. Yeah, it's true. He gonna I, tell. I, I would have went on and kind of like you know, stuck a mystic in him. <laughs> <laughs> he want you, you gotta think of this is war time war time right yeah so and you're trying to one, hide and somebody sees ain't, you people ain't getting fed like they supposed to be getting fed they ain't got money like they supposed yeah. to be getting money so they gonna whatever they they need somebody gonna pay them for some information I, I, their gonna, mindset is I'm being snitch yeah, so I can live them. another day for my family you know my yeah. family can eat and all that good stuff. Now, what's interesting is the little boy that came on the scene. Oh, Georgia? Yeah. Um, that's interesting. But it's also interesting that Jon Snow, though, what they call them people? That, the Wildlings? No, no. I know he's with the Wildlings, but I'm talking about the, the war. One, yeah, the war. That, yeah. Now, seeing him... Sit up there. I'm like, what's wrong with him? Because I thought he was a white, uh, a walker. I'm sorry, a white walker. Yeah. I really did. Because his eyes all back. I'm like, what the hell? So they just walk with him. So he he was in a bird looking around, mm. looking through a bird's eye. So kind of like Brayton. And I don't know if you heard Joda say he told Brand he's a warg. Yeah, I, I yeah. got that. So yeah. So yeah. So. So yeah. Once he learns how to do it, he'll be able to do that too. And then, Jeffrey is just a—he's a psychopath. Yeah. He's a psychopath. He scared her, and he did it on purpose. And she, she was scared because you could see it in her face. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she she, knew how rev to, she, she knew kind how to of reversed it. it. Yeah. yeah. On him, like you know, let me getting, let me stroke your ego real quick. You know, what seems I'm saying? like she's been getting some lessons from her grandma. Yeah, yeah. Now old, hopefully she go back Olena. and tell grandma what he did, so grandma can have some kind of play, plan and play. If he go, you know, cry cry. Well, yeah. he already cry cry. Yeah, he's a nut. But you know, I'm like you know, I'm like oh. What's his name? Theon. Theon. He deserved it, but I'm like, that hurt. That hurt. He deserved everything he getting right now. I'm sorry. But I, I want to know who these people are. Because it was his people, the ironclad people, right? Mm -hmm. That knocked him out. Yeah. So I'm wondering where he at? Who 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 has him captive right now? You know? Mm -hmm. you like, I know, but I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, but I ain't gonna tell you. Okay, but I'm. If just, you pay close attention, you can figure it out. If I pay, huh. I mean, it looked like his his people. Mm. It looked like his people, but I don't know. I just want to know who it is because I'm like, the Iron Glad people are what knocked him over the head and put the thing over here. I thought he'd ever shut up, but you know, it's, I I just want to know who who had some cap. Yeah, I think we'll probably find Torturing out. Torturing him. We'll probably find out next next episode or two. And then hound. Oh, yeah. Say, what are you doing with the star girl? <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. I like it. I like it. So. Yeah, this, this is a good season. Yes. Well, so far it is, you know. Oh, the next couple of episodes. We didn't get to see Daenerys uh, this episode. 
No, we didn't. Yeah, listen to her get called a whore by the slaver. <laughs> Them hand. Yeah, that's true. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. This is your first time uh, viewing us. All right. Bye-bye. See you next episode.